Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be going over how to download and install Technic Mod Packs. These are all mod packs to do with the Technic Launcher. Um, here at The Breakdown we try to be a complete resource for Minecraft mods, servers, everything Minecraft Java Edition basically. And uh, with that, we need to cover as many of the popular mod pack installers out there. And I realized there was a big hole, if you will, in our uh, mod pack area of things. We don't have much of anything in the Technic Launcher. So today, we're going to be solving that with this in-depth guide of the Technic Launcher. We're going to be going over kind of everything in the Technic Launcher, how to get into some of those more in-depth settings, how to change your, you know, RAM and add more RAM and install multiple mod packs. It's all going to be covered here. But first and foremost, we do have this from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour DNS projected Minecraft server running a ton of different Technic Launcher mod packs. All of the most popular Technic Launcher mod packs are available at Apex Minecraft Hosting. And they're all available with just one click. Yes, one click installation with all the most popular Technic mod packs that are out there. For example, Crafting Dead, Tech It, Hex It, and so many more mod packs are available over on Apex with just one click installation. So go check it out. First link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. That's where we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com. That's how much we love Apex. So check them out. They're amazing. You will love them for hosting your own server. But now let's get the Technic Launcher installed. And to do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is the official download page for the Technic Launcher. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click on that green Windows button there. That green Windows button. When you click on that, it will go ahead and immediately start downloading the Technic Launcher in the bottom left, right? So so again, click the second link down below, takes you to this official download page, scroll down, click on that Windows button right there, and it immediately begins to download. On Google Chrome, you won't need to save the Technic Launcher. However, on Mozilla Firefox, you will need to save it in the center of your screen. Now, if I minimize my browser, it's here for me on my desktop, right? Here it is on my desktop, ready to go. If this isn't on your desktop though, you can find it in your downloads folder. To find that, go ahead and click the little windows icon to the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen. Click that little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. It'll open up this, then go ahead and click on downloads or type in downloads, I should say. And then you'll have this downloads folder. Click on that and you will find the Technic Launcher in here. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and double click on the Technic Launcher we downloaded. We're then going to need to install the Technic Launcher. So as you can see, it says install Technic. To do that, click the blue download button in the bottom right here, and it will go ahead and automatically install. Shouldn't take too long, to be honest. It's just downloading a few things, kind of getting everything set up, and then it'll open up this login screen. Now here, you're going to enter in your Minecraft login information. This is the same information that you use to log into the Minecraft Launcher. So when you log into the Minecraft Launcher, and you originally downloaded it, you saw this, right? It's going to be the same email and password you entered here, but instead of entering it here, you're going to enter it into the Technic Launcher here. It's the only way you can play Technic Mod Packs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you on the next screen, which will basically be where you'll go after you log into the Technic Launcher. So here we are on the Technic Launcher. This is it. Right here is where you'll land. It might look a little different. The trending mod packs may change. This stuff may change. But overall, it'll look something similar to this, right? This is the Discover page of the Technic Launcher. Here you'll be able to see the top mod packs on the right-hand side. So right now, Crafting Dead and then RL Craft and then Tech It are the top mod packs. And then from there, you'll be able to see the Tech It official merchandise, the official Technic Track Discord, as well as the Technic Scraps, which is, I think, a podcast. And then we do have the Mod Packs tab. We're going to come back here, but these are all the basic Technic mod packs. Some of the more popular ones are here automatically, and then you could search for additional mod packs there. We're going to do both. And we do have the Technic news page, which is basically talking about all the different stuff that comes with Technic. As you can see, they now have 1.13 forward support, for example, a few different errors that have been fixed all the way back to 2015. There's different things here. But nonetheless, the page you're going to be using most of your time on is the mod packs page within the Technic Launcher. Now to install a new mod pack, there's two ways. If you want to install one of the major mod packs that are here, you can just click on it and then click the install button in the bottom right. So for Tech It, for example, the like namesake of the Technic Launcher, you would just click on Tech It and then in the bottom right, click on the install button. That's then, as you see, installing Tech It. It's going to install Tech It and do basically everything that it is going to do. Just installing, working, all that stuff, no big deal, right? It's going through and doing all that. But you probably don't want to just install these mod packs here. Many of them are older. I mean, Tech It, for example, has been around for, well, a very, very, very long time. So nevertheless, if you don't want to install Tech It here, what if you want to install another mod pack that you know is on the Technic Launcher? For example, one that's on the Technic Launcher is Crafting Dead, right? So Crafting Dead, that's one. 
that is on the Technic Launcher, and there it is, Official Crafting Dead. You can make sure it's official. Uh, a lot of times it'll say official, and it's only going to say official if it's actually official. That is one thing that the Technic Launcher does do. But then over here, as you can see, it does have 2.7 million downloads. And that many downloads, you can probably guarantee it's the official one. But once the TechIt mod pack is downloaded, we can actually install another mod pack. There we go, it finished. And when it did finish, it took us back here. Now, if we click on TechIt that we installed, we do have this blue play button. So if we click on that, we'll play TechIt, but, but we want to install another mod pack and that was going to be Crafting Dead, right? So Crafting Dead, there's Crafting Dead Official. To install this, again, just click on that blue install button. Boom, it's now gonna go ahead and install and do everything it needs to do. Now, while that's installing, let's go ahead and come back to the mod packs page here just by deleting this. And by the way, you delete that and you come back to your normal mod packs page look what's here now official crafting debt right that wasn't here before there's all sorts of different pixel mod mod packs on the technic launcher for example the complex gaming pixel mod this is what you're going to use to play on the complex gaming pixel mod server to install that you would come here click on this blue install button just like that and it's immediately going to install it's that simple everyone to get these mod packs installed and now if we come back here we now have not only complex gaming pixel mod we also have official crafting dead and we also have tech it already downloaded so pretty cool stuff there and that's how you can download multiple mod packs however what if you want to add more ram to a mod pack well you can't do it on a per mod pack basis either you add more ram to all of your mod packs on the technic launcher or none of them and I would recommend adding more RAM to this launcher because by default, it's just got one gigabyte. That's not going to be enough to even play the TechIt mod pack, let alone some of the more advanced ones of today. So to add more RAM to TechIt, you want to click on the launcher options up here towards the top right of the Technic launcher. When you click on that, you want to click on the Java settings here. And then in here, you'll have memory. This is how much RAM you want to dedicate. You can dedicate up to 16 gigabytes. I would recommend at least four for most mod packs. Now, this isn't a video about RAM. We actually do have an in-depth tutorial down below that'll show you how much RAM you have available that you can use for Minecraft and all that stuff. That in-depth video is linked down below, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the Technic Launcher and how to add more RAM to that specific launcher, and that's how you can do that. If you want more details about RAM, you can check it out down below. Now, the Minecraft version, what version of RAM, right, Minecraft Java version, what version of Java do you want to use? You want to use this one, this one, or this one? You want to use a 64-bit one. If it doesn't say 64-bit here, go to our Java tutorial, which is linked in the description down below, and get 64-bit Java. That'll walk you through how to do it. But you should say 64-bit here, and as long as it does, you're good to go. You don't need to do with anything else there. And then video settings here is where you can actually change your video settings. You can make it full screen, default size, which is 800 by 600, or custom dimensions. For example, if we want custom dimensions, 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p, which is what you're watching this video in quality-wise, you can do that. Stencil muffler, as you can see, this may need to be disabled for some packs on low-end video cards. So you can either enable or disable that. We're going to leave it enabled. I have a good enough video card. Now, you don't need to save any of these, by the way. They automatically save when you click off. But if we go over to general settings, you can see the language is the OS default, or you can change it to something else. Pack on launch, you can either hide the launcher, close the launcher, or stay open. For performance reasons, I would recommend closing the launcher, but that is up to you. Hiding the launcher works just as well. You can show the console or not, and you can start in the mod packs tab, which is a helpful thing to click. The start in the mod packs tab will allow you to immediately, when you open up Technic and be on the mod packs tab, that's where you're going to want to go anyway, so I would recommend checking that. You can also see about over here. This kind of gives you the about information of the Technic launcher. And yeah, that's it. That's kind of the overview of the general Technic launcher. However, there is one more area you can click, and that is the mod packs option over here on the right. If you click on mod packs option, you'll be able to see some of the different versions that are available. As you can see, all of these different versions here of this mod pack. If you need to play an older one to play on a server, for example, you can do that. You can either play the latest version or the recommended version, whichever one you want. I would recommend, well, just leaving it on the recommended version and never changing that. You can also see the install folder here. By clicking on open, you'll actually be able to open up the folder and see all of the mods in here. If you wanted to add an additional mod to a mod pack like Optifine, this is where you would do it, right? So in order to add Optifine to one of these mod packs, just click on the open button here. So click on mod pack options. Click on open, download Optifine from the official Optifine website, go into this mods folder, and then drag and drop Optifine into this mods folder. Simple stuff. Now, you've done it. You've kind of gotten the complete overview of the Technic Launcher. It's pretty easy, right? If you ever want to delete a mod pack, you can do that by going to the mod pack. And if it's installed, it'll have a delete button or delete pack button down here. You can click on that. It'll say, are you sure you want to remove this pack? Click yes, and it will delete it from your system. And then to play a mod pack after you've downloaded it, which we tell you how to do on the front of the video, go ahead and click on that pack and then just click play in the bottom right. When you click on play, it'll go ahead and open up Minecraft with your mod pack installed very simply and very easily. And guess what? It's going to open up at the resolution that you set in the video settings, which is cool. I support that wholeheartedly. 
And as you can see, here we do have Crafting Dead opening in 1080p. Actually, bigger than 1080p, which is a little weird, but nevertheless, here it is. Do you agree to this? Yes, you do. And there you go. You are now in the main menu of the Crafting Dead mod pack. There you have it. That is the complete in-depth guide to this launcher here, the Technic launcher, which is going to, I think, see a bit more uh, support over the years. Now, one thing I will say is there is a <laughs> little uh, mod pack here, or I think it's called Nix Pack, which was actually uh, an old mod pack that I created. So let's see, was it Nick Tech? Nick Tech, here it is. Nick Tech by Nix Games. This is an old mod pack that I created. We actually got a decent amount of installs, 4,700 installs. I have not touched it for forever. Five years ago is the last time I played this mod pack, but here it is. If you do want to play on it in the Technic Launcher, it's still here. It's still live. It's not going anywhere, but it's never getting a bug fix. So just know that. As you can see, it actually said there was an error downloading something in the pack. But anyway, yeah, it's there. And if somebody wanted to update it or whatever, they could and kind of take it and change it and all that. It's fine with me. But nevertheless, there you have it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Make awesome Minecraft videos here. We have now kind of completed. We've got a good FTB tutorial. We've got a good Twitch uh, mod pack tutorial. We've got a good technic tutorial i think we're sitting well for a while but thank you all so so much for watching give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse my name is nick and i am out peace